I wanted to play against you just once in my life because you're the last person to give me hope for football. But what player was able to capture the dreams of the great Maradona? January 6th, 2001. The great Diego Maradona didn't know it yet, but he just absolutely made the day of one of the greatest football champions football has ever known. Ronaldinho. Young Ronaldo de Asis Moreira was a massive fan of the Argentinian player and could hardly sit still. For days, it was all he thought about, meeting Maradona, whose biography had recently come out and who he met at an event for the book signing. Like thousands of other kids, the Brazilian had gone to Buenos Aires to meet Diego. But Ronnie wasn't like all the other kids. At just 20 years old, he was already being heralded as the new and rising star of Brazilian football. So when Diego learned that Ronaldinho was coming to see him, he acted accordingly. He contacted his agent to set up a six-on-six -six match in a park in Buenos Aires. The poor kid was almost falling over himself the entire game. He was terrible. He spent the whole time just watching Maradona play, admitted his agent, Eric Lovey. But none of that really mattered, because what happened after the match was one of the greatest moments in Ronnie's life. As Ronnie stood there starstruck, Maradona handed him his biography with a special dedication and said these incredible words. I wanted to play against you just once in my life because you're the last person to give me hope for football. Those present that day claimed that Ronaldinho even cried. The 20-year-old kid was overcome by emotion, and for good reason. He'd worked hard to get where he was. Ronaldinho was born on March 21, 1980 in Porto Alegre and practiced football primarily in his family's living room. How? by dribbling nutmegs around his dog and juggling over chairs, all under the admiring watch of his brother. Ronaldinho's father, unfortunately, wasn't there to witness his son's talent. Jao de Silva Moreira, a humble welder, had died of electrocution when diving into a pool. It was a trauma that Ronaldinho had had to overcome and had surpassed in no small part due to football. Still today, Ronnie is a force of nature and a joy to watch. His smile will remain etched in fans' memories forever. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave us a like and please subscribe to the channel. Now, the voice is yours. Give us your ideas for new videos in the comments.